Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to iCup TV. It'll be your epic and awesome caster Fitz here, and the map will be Jade, and you guys are tuning into iCup Clan League Season 20, Week 1, Division B2, between Winds of War versus uh, Walk Clan, and this will be Series Number 2 between the, yeah, the, uh, excuse me, the White Terran competing for Winds of War, or WOW, Catwoman, who we saw in the 2v2, on Jade is spotting the bottom right. It will be the uh, excuse me, the orange Protoss walks Martian. So that's gonna be it's pretty much how this is gonna go. It will be a ZVP, and the map is Jade. So before I get into the statistics of both these players, you know the notes of both these players. I've jumbled up on iCup. The website we're gonna be just hanging out there. This map does have a reverse ramp, which means you you see a lot of building placements up here. If it's not a mirror matchup, sometimes you'll see you'll still see one base play, but mo most of the time you'll see a lot of fast expand builds right here. But we're seeing the pylon even being placed over there, so we'll have to see. Though a lot of times Protoss doesn't end up doing, but Terran it looks like we're gonna be seeing that coming up as well right here. Probably put it up as barracks or supply depot, whichever one he chooses to put up. And otherwise, you know, you have, a, you have a, a substantially big ramp here. You can't really wall it off, so you see a lot of times, like, Fighting Spirit, you'll put your your main army here just to help defend your third, which is also on the same high ground. So you have a reverse ramp, and there's only that one little that one little ramp there. So very much like Fighting Spirit, but otherwise, you know, very, very similar. And, yeah. Otherwise, this map is pretty standard. Other than the center of the map, which I feel to mention, sometimes you'll see a lot of players get up here trying to get the that the high ground advantage but sometimes that doesn't normally happen you know it, it's just it's the small things and bigger engagements that does happen it, it, it but you try to get yourself in the best scenario in larger engagements you know maybe when it's four dragoons and four dragoons that makes it makes a severe difference but when you have like 50 on 50 dragoons sometimes that doesn't make it such a big difference when there's like storms going down etc maybe one or two dragoon hits here and there won't really make the difference so if you guys didn't know if you're on the low ground you have a missed chance of hitting something on the high ground that's pretty much what that all means and now, for statistics of both these players, Catwoman, like we saw in 2v2, is a 2v2, 2v2 player. There's really no st <coughs> st st statistics on them other than that they're Polish, which pretty much means they're coming from a Polish ID, and well, that probe is going to be harassing that guy on the barracks, but I, don't, I think the barracks will be done in time for that, so just being a little annoying right there, but will he get the SCV? I don't, I, he may not be paying attention right here, but another SCV is coming up right here, either A, for a one barracks expand, which I would be assuming coming out of Catwoman, but I don't really know much about how Catwoman's going to play. All I know is that they were, she or he or Catwoman was able to, it was looking very, very strong in the 2v2 side. It was pretty much because of this player that <clears throat> really made it, made that Winds of War won that series right there, so keeping that in mind as well so we'll, we'll we'll see how how they will actually or how catwoman will play out this game where it looks like we're gonna be seeing standard <clears throat> probably uh yeah <clears throat> we're gonna be seeing uh no zealot first who it looks like more of a passive aggression we'll be coming out with more aggression but no uh, extra zealot right there to try to get through this there's really no point to because this is going to be a complete wall off anyway just so uh, they can get oh actually a factory a lot of time you see a one barracks ex expand on these on this map but you know what have you. It really kind of de depends on preference here. Now, this is just probably more of a safer safer way to do this. I'm going to try to get my mic a little closer to me because I'm going to be leaning back right here. It's had a pretty late, uh, long day, but the SCV will be getting a nice scout off. We'll be seeing that, that timing of that, that range. And just only sees one gateway, so nothing all in. And that's probably going to be very happy. Just coming out of Catwoman right here. Def definitely wants to wants to know what Martin really does. And also, I forgot to mention, Martin now is a USA player, and very much like uh, Catwoman, there's really no statistics on them. Sadly, he might be on, a, on an alternative account. What have you, there's just something on him. And at the same time, Martin... <clears throat> I'm going to call him Martin. His name is Martian. But Martin is going to be putting down a expand as well. And it looks like... Oh, and right in response to that, we will be seeing an expand coming out of Catwoman. And both players are playing pretty, pretty standard here. I'm going to be... I, I just want to know what... I, I think Martin is going to have to do something special here. I think he... A one gateway expand... He's, did he just lose a Dragoon? He's going to have to push back here. He does not want to lose those Dragoons right there. And that would be pretty bad. I think he's just going to have to do something against this, this, this fast expanding Terran. A, by taking an expand or something along those lines. Just get the map patrol or something. He did, he's not going to want to go in here. I know Catwoman was able to do bio pretty efficiently against Protoss before... Now, again, that was 2v2, but it looks like we're going to be seeing standard mech out of both players here. 
I just really don't know. I, I feel things are a little grim for for Martin, but I could be completely wrong. I'm just saying, but we will be seeing Robo Facility, so two gate Robo Facility. So it looks like he's going down the teching path right now. Martin is, that expansion is about to come up. Martin is, Martin's expansion, excuse me, it's just about to come up. So, nice there as well right there. And now what is he getting? Is he going to be doing this push right here? He will, he will have mines out. So it looks like he might be doing this push with around five or six Marines. And it looks like exactly what he's going to be doing here. He's going to be pushing out here. This would be enough to, to put... To make to, to make Martin a little scared. I think this push might do just a little something right here. He just doesn't really have much. He only has dragoons here, and Marines and tanks, especially with especially with these spider mines over here. That oh, it looks like he's actually going to be putting them down before that. These spider mines will just it's just going to be very. Oh, he didn't actually target. He's targeting target the vultures, and that's actually nice right there. And you know the reason for that is. But at the same time, he's going to be mechering behind here. But maybe I can explain that a little bit later. Two Marines have fallen. Three Marines are falling. And now this push is looking very, very much more minimal, minimalized. And we'll have to be pushing back here. And the reason for it, he was attacking the Vultures is just because these Spider Mines do 125 damage. If you guys can see right there. And that does, you know, significant amount of damage to that. Especially when the Vultures are up in here in your face. That's why they were target firing those. They just didn't want to run into that. And they do splash damage. Keep in mind. And, you know... Dragoons are pretty bulky units, but they will take some damage right there. Now, back at Catwoman's base, he, we will be seeing a, a, an eBay and two more factories coming down. And, you know, pretty good saturation. No second gas yet. And at, you know, I was going to say USA Martin's base, we're going to be seeing two more gateways being placed down. And, no, oh, is that room with support now? We're seeing, seeing Citadel of Doom right here. So, it looks like we're going to be seeing Storm slash early DTs could be possible. Might want to try to do as much damage, but you know, he, he, Catwoman's too good to, uh, to realize this, and I mean, I don't know this exact rank, but Catwoman knows the timing of the of this Citadel coming up, knows the timing of the potential Templar Archives coming up fairly shortly, and considering the fact that he's all in off of four gateways, that this is leaning towards more of a teching path, because you can be off a six gate to produce all many units right there, and... Considering the fact he doesn't have any, he's only getting observer speed right now. He's only get pulling up observers, so he's not, he could be. He looks like he's gonna be going for something around the tech path, but we'll have to see right there. And we'll be getting his second gas at the same time. Taron is yet, Calvin's yet to actually take th their second gas yet, which I mean, it's not such a big deal. We and finally getting down on that second machine shop, so he will, Calvin will have both uh, double. Uh, Double C shape production at this point in time, so that's not bad. Both players are being pretty passive, nothing really harassing about the player right now, which not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it makes it a bit more interesting to see what both players are going to be going after the tech pass. So we're going to probably going to be seeing more maybe a mid game final push coming out of both players. Some might be in the playstyles of Catwoman and Martin for sure, because neither player is really showing indication that they're really going to be going for kind of a a push, a timing push coming right now. We're seeing plus one being initiated, but you know that that push that push will at least be coming out at least you know f you know two three minutes later uh, as it stands right here, and you know Terran can really only push out in TVP you know early game to mid late to the the late game the the late later part of mid game into late game because they don't want to push out before they have you know a significant amount of siege tanks and, and mech units to go out from there, but at the same time we will be seeing this the base coming out of. Excuse me, of Cat, uh, not Catwoman, of Martin right here. We're also seeing four or five gate, no, yeah, five gateways as it stands. And no Templar Archives right now. I was going to say the eBay was there to get up missile turrets, but do we see a missile turret up here? We do, just in case for DTs, but I think they just, I think, I think Martin realizes that those, that, that uh, DT shenanigans wouldn't really do too much, so maybe he's just going to be waiting right here. This would be the start of timing when it's getting around the nine minute mark. Templar Archives should be coming down around in the next three minutes if we're going to be seeing that right now. And observers will have observer speed though. That's nice to see though. Just I, b I believe they're on rally. Uh, you know what I'd always done for protest for, for protest players. It might be a, just an idea to do. I always I always put these guys. I mean, at StarCraft Two, StarCraft One. I've always done it. Whenever I played Protoss, I I, I always I never really, I mean as Terran, but I always play other races and stuff. But when I get like my five observers out, I tend to. I tend to put them on, on uh, relay be around the person's base, just 
just you know to see if they're gonna have any kind of hidden tech buildings or anything. I mean, with Terran, it's gonna be hard with their missile turrets. But I mean, if we're seeing right here, they're only by like the main army. So maybe per se that they're not really guarding the tech buildings as per se. I mean, you can see when that plus one is coming up as well. But it looks like at the same time, Mark will be pushing across the map to that um, north, to the no to the north uh, west right here. Will might be able to do some damage. Maybe just clearing out some spider mines for map vision. Maybe we just want to make it look like he's pushing out. Maybe, maybe not, but uh, it looks like he's going to be just doing that. Just killing up of that. Maybe he's going to be forcing an interesting scenario happening over here. Uh, uh, interesting building placement for the supply depots. I'm not going to try to go and super anal analyze that, but I think it's just because he's just wanted to put them there. But this, this is just going to put him the hurt just because he won't be able to get those siege tanks over there. But, you know. What have you. But we're going to be seeing three base to Protoss versus uh, two base Terran. And it looks like Catwoman is going to be going for this timing push with plus one about to finish. Which it has finished. So he will have plus one. Or he looks like it's just going to be one to secure his third right here. So it looks like you're going to be seeing three base Turtle Terran coming up out of Catwoman. Which will be moderately difficult, if not impossible, for a three base Protoss to deal with. So this is where the scenario where he's going to realize, well, I can't break through this right now by the current supply cap. We're seeing 119 to 108. So Protoss is slightly ahead, which is, you know, it's just normal. But Protoss needs to take more expands. But at the same at the same time, though, thankfully Catwoman knows about about this build. You know, going through base turtle turn. If you're going to be going this, you know, this is a nice way to figure out when your person, your when your players, when your opponent's going to be taking expands, putting these spider mines by these all the base locations, knowing when that when those bases are coming down, and just being really really annoying about it and. From that point, they could send vulture squadrons over there to counter that. I mean, it's got so that which forces you to be less aggressive, it, you being the Protoss player, being less aggressive. But it looks like they might be trying to run by here. I believe that will be a vulture tight wall off here, but just putting down uh, more spider mines here. Not really going to be able to do too much right here. And there are defensive dragoons on the main ramp here. Will they be able to do enough damage? One vulture has fallen down. Looks like a second one might fall, and they're going to be going the natural here. And there's no chance to do it. There's at least four, five, six, seven probes completely taken down right here. Spider-Man did go off and killed off one of the Dragoons here, and he's completely out of position here. Martin's completely out of position to deal with this. A very nice Vulture run by coming out of Catwoman right here, doing so much damage right here, and, you know, getting a nice, you know, sc uh, scout off as well, even though so he doesn't have to burn off scans for potential DTs that are coming out. Getting spider runs in the base now, that's just making it so much more difficult to get in here. And probably going to have to transfer out, but I mean, at what cost has this, uh, how much damage have these guys done? I mean, three kills on that one, Vulture. I mean, they're all slightly dying right here. Five kills on that one. That is definitely pay for them. So each of them at least had at least three or more kills on them. And completely damaged. And, you know, not really doing not really doing tech damage, per se. But this is what the stuff that Terran needs to do if they're going to be going this three-base style. They need, to, they need to cripple Protoss in such a way that they can get up to their max army. They can get their upgrades going. And so they can eventually push out and completely decimate them. And I think Catwoman's in the scenario where he, where he or... He, he or she or Catwoman, whatever whatever pronoun I want to say, is in a position to do a three base turtle turn. I think he's I think I think Catwoman's in a very good position right here. He does it looks like looks like Martin will be going for I I, mean, I think Martin is going to be that and look at look at that we've been seeing Storm come as well right now. And things I mean we're looking at 121 supply 122 supply to 139. So Taron's actually ahead right now, and the problem, problem, problem is Taron's off a three base, same thing with Martin. Catwoman and Martin are at the same base, and that's exactly not what a position you want to be in to uh, keep his, uh, DBT. But here we go, he looks like the engagement's gonna be having. He does not have Storm, and he doesn't have Stasis Field here. So it's gonna be very, very hard to break up these tanks right here, but there isn't really too many vultures in the last to break through uh, to help defend this, but those tanks are in the back, and they're doing a lot of damage right here. And I think Martin, or at least Catwoman, is going to be safe here. Going to be getting that center map control. And this is where Protoss does not want to be. This is, this is now he's going to have very difficult, you know, securing expansions here. The only thing, though, I have to say for Catwoman, he just wants to be careful. Though. Doesn't want to get these tanks out of position out of position here. And it might be that just might be the case here. Vultures are going to be there, but the Dragoons are not closing in on the tanks right there. And not being the best engagement for Martin right there. Completely losing all of his Dragoons right there. And not very good at all right there. And it looks like you will have to push back for right now. And at the same time, we're really not seeing any kind of more basing out of this. So we're seeing three base to three base. And Martin has failed to secure another base. And now the tanks are out. They're now, I mean, we're looking at what, 75 supply to 105, guys. This is not a good position. This things are looking very good for Martin right here. And I definitely give the edge right now to, to Catwoman right here. Now, Catwoman could do one of two things. He could, They could risk to go another expansion here. But I don't think it even matters risking it. I mean, there is a thousand minerals in the bank right here. I mean, Catwoman's doing fine for her economy right now. Could be taking an expand ready. 
right here, all he has to do is kill off Catwoman, all, all they have to do is kill off these spider mines over here. And it looks like Catwoman's gonna go for it. Will this be able to do enough damage? Zelves are out though, and Zelves are very good against tanks right here. And a lot of the tanks are falling to these Zelves right here. Now, the upper count is one plus one to one one. So, Protoss is actually at a disadvantage of upgrades though, which is another scenario where where Protoss really doesn't want to be, which tends to be a lot of the time though, that what happens in PV, PV, uh, PVT just because, you know, Terran likes to sit off a three base so they're not really losing too much and they, they can afford to get these upgrades because they're not really being... They don't have to be super aggressive, but what can he, what can Martin do here? There's spider mines all over here and it's just gonna have to push out here, just being really annoying here. Might lose one or two dragoons here, but just being really annoying. And, you know, Catwoman was just stalling for time at this point in time. Not taking any expands, but, you know, building another army back at home right here has done, you know, a pretty good amount of damage right here. Keep in mind, we're only off of... 6 now uh, we're seeing off of only 3, 8 gateways right here, and things are looking very good, and even starting to shell at the 3rd here, and the middle line's completely exposed, 2 to take 11, 16 kills on this guy, oh my goodness gracious, 19 kills, finally the Zelda's going to be able to hear, not the time before it gets 20 kills, and finally the take will go down after 20 probe kills, absolutely ridiculous, very beautiful coming out of Catwoman right now, Catwoman is very, looking very unstoppable in this in this matchup uh, between Winds of uh, Winds of War and uh, and Walk, I, I mean I have to say, and at the same time, uh, Catwoman is gonna be securing the base at the one o'clock right there. So look, looking kind of very uh, like I've been saying, things are looking very very grim. Finally though, it looks at the same time we'll be putting down double can though to, to take care of that spider mine there, just being super more annoying. But we'll be seeing that expansion timing coming up. We're gonna have an engagement in the center, but now Terran has a high ground advantage. It's exactly not where, where the Protoss wants to be going here. If Protoss wants to try to outmaneuver the Terran, which they can, Jade's not a terrible map to do it in. Because keep in mind, the high ground is a very good position for Terran to get up. I mean, Zealots are going to be able to charge their way up here, but they're going to be running into a lot of spider mines here, which means the, the Dragoons have to get get in there first with, with the uh, with the Observer there. So it's going to be very hard to push up here. But not to say Martin could outmaneuver and per se go behind, go up. I'm trying to... I started the scrolling is really bad. Um, hold on, maybe I can do... Speed? I oh, know there aren't already solos. So, but you could go around this side, go flank from the rear. There aren't going to be sp uh, spider mines there, for example. But Tyron might get sight of that, get wind of that, and might put spider mines behind that. Or they could go out, 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 maneuver that. But now, I, when I say that, they're going to be putting the spider mines to make sure that doesn't happen. And a lot of spider mines are going down from a lot of locations here. So, Catwoman is playing this absolutely splendid here. Showing how Terran can 3-base and complete decimate a Protoss right here. And doing everything right here. Got a Vulture run by. Which may, maybe for a stronger Protoss may have not happened. But now we're just seeing how that, you know, that snowballs, you know, exponentially gets greater to the late game. To mid and late game. Where Protoss, you know, is at, at a supply deficit right here. We're seeing 126 supply. To 102 and I you know I just feel like at the same time we're not even seeing all the gate all the factories being utilized but we're gonna be seeing tanks and vultures running here this will deny the fourth over here at that at that seven o'clock right there and things are just, uh, things are not looking good are not going in uh, Martin, uh, Martin's favor right here and he's gonna be staging up one right there and now these spider mines are just you know delaying that so this base will fall completely and lose that pylon even there and gonna be on the high ground again I have to say, Catwoman knows this map very, very well right here. Martin might just be better off and just go on to game number two here. He's, they're just too far behind right here. The deficit is too, too large. We're seeing up, um, I think we're seeing, uh, about to gonna see a 2-2 upgrade advantage sooner. Uh, yeah, I believe that upgrade just started kicking right there. Yeah, 2-2 two, two has just kicked in right there, right when I said it. And that army's finally getting cleaned up by Martin, but at what cost? I mean, that was only probably at least maybe in 800, 800 minerals army right here and he still has no answer to the center base here martin has to do something to deal with these other two bases coming up over here at at the at the one o'clock and at the three o'clock or at the two thirty here he just doesn't have an answer to them and it's looking kind of grim right now and he needs to do something he needs to do drop play he needs to utilize those shuttles he has he never got shuttle speed in response and I don't know if it's standard, but I don't believe it is. He went for he went for observer speed, and not to say that's not a, a bad upgrade to get, but shuttle speed is a much much more important upgrade in my opinion. And being uh, seeing many casts of uh, a TVP before, it really does help. You know the the reaver micro doing doing drop play very very fast, doing multi prong drops right here. And getting out, getting out of the range of the missile turrets, for example, getting out of the range of the Goliath that much faster. 
And ultimately just doing a lot more damage. Ooh, Spider-Man will go off and soften up. Oh, they're all gonna connect right there. And, ooh, now the Zelda Cat's going pretty low for right now. But now not doing as near as much damage. But this is what he needs to be doing. He needs to be attacking over here. But it will be sending. Ooh, might be able to kill us some transferring SCVs at the same time here. But we will be seeing Catwoman taking out take at least gonna be doing some economic damage. We'll, we'll delay mining for quite some time for Catwoman right here. Nice little victory for that right here. The whole army is gonna be mobilizing here, getting behind here. But we'll be he, if if he's able to counter off both these off these bases here, that's gonna be a very nice victory from uh, Marty here. But it might be too late, too little, too late because at the same time here, this is what he needed to do before. But now there's gonna be vultures here. Now the whole army's here. But keep in mind there's a whole other army over here, and it looks like this 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 small army might be able to get picked off there. So it isn't gonna be enough. Spider Man's here, and Martin's gonna be able to take off of this force, but he has a whole other force here. Catwoman might be losing this th that center map control for the time being, but we're still seeing 134 supply compared to 108. So Terran's still ahead, even though losing those like significant amount of tanks here. And I'm not really seeing much blue blood happening. So Protoss didn't really lose too much in that engagement, which means that they really Morton Martin really wasn't is it Morton or Martin? Yeah, Martin wasn't actually at a good a better supply lead. Finally gonna be putting down that base again at the seven o'clock. Will it be doing enough damage right there? And it looks like he's going to be trying to expand to that south west, southwestmost base right there. But it looks like that will get denied right now. And they might be sending the vultures over just to deal with that probe over there. Because uh, there's no way that, that spider mine's going any, anywhere anytime soon. Because uh, if you guys didn't know, probes do not actually do not set off spider mines. But And we're just seeing 2-2 two, two upgrades. We're seeing 3-3 three, three coming up. About two-thirds of the way down here. We're looking at the upgrade. And, oh, and he's going to be counting off the third right here. Uh, the fourth, excuse me, at that 7 o'clock here. And Catwoman base training scenario for both players here. But, I mean, four base tower and a four base Protoss. Is it going to be doing too much? And there's going to be an engagement happening over here around the uh, 3 o'clock. But there's just too much, too many tanks here. You can't run in here. There's just too many tanks here. They're doing 80 damage. Okay? That's enough to three shot a Dragoon, people. And Dragoons have 180 HP. Now, let's look at the... Uh, the upgrade count for both players. One plus one. He hasn't gotten any more upgrades. There's a GG by Martin, surprisingly. And just because he's probably shilling at the third, just being really, really pesky there. And oh my goodness. Very interesting TVP. Um, for sure. And for first time of the game here, I, I just want to say to Martin here, Martin just fell apart. Catwoman just did everything right. What a Terran could do off of three base. Was passive enough, but aggressive enough to do damage. That first push he went in, he saw, okay, I'm gonna go for a push, he lost three Marines. Catwoman pushed back. Now Martin didn't follow that up with his own aggression. So, I mean, both players were, you know, moderately passive, maybe a little too passive to some other people's standards, but not enough, it works out, and it's okay in this, in both this game. So, I think Martin would need to be a little bit more aggressive in this matchup in order to thrive a little better. I think Martin might be used to a three base timing, but when you're getting off a three base Terran, that doesn't work too much. So a three base Protoss isn't necessarily a bad in TVP, just when you're seeing a lot more standard three base Terran builds now. Well, well three base Terran going up to, I don't know the exact build, but you essentially, the, the idea of the build is, I don't, again, I don't know the whole build method. I just know the generalization of each build. They, they stay off a three base, they turtle up, get 200, 200 army, 3, 3 army, and then push out. Pretty much that's what we saw. I mean, definitely toward the mid and late game, we saw Catwoman, you know, they, Catwoman knew they were in such a, that he or she was in a great lead and was able to, you know, get map, map control because Protoss really didn't have what, uh, have a really good map, map control for that reason. And because of that, thus had a smaller supply, had a, had a big supply deficit, which is concerning. But, so I think he, you just need to be more aggressive with your expands. You need to know when to pump out units. You need to know when to cut back pro production. I think would be a good idea. You need you want to know when you want to. For example, I think this would be a good idea. One, I think I don't know how this would work for you. Now again, Catwoman might get sighted this and might do something about it. But if you see Catwoman putting down an expansion, go put down two of your own, for example, or go for a a two a two Nexus build. Maybe maybe make it look like you think. I mean, again, he's gonna be scouting, but try some other things. Draw play would be another thing. You didn't really harass that much. I mean, late game, sure, but you need three. So I mean, to 
I want to say mid game will be off a of three is probably when both players off a of, off a of three base because that's when they get the higher gas units. That's when they're going to be teching more. And yeah, cat and uh, that's when they're going to be teching more. So if you're going to able to you know cut that back by harassing, for example, that's really going to put the hurt on. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I cup TV will be tuning out, and you guys are going to be watching uh, game number two whenever it gets posted. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.